Tonight, an I-Team investigation into the safety of carnival rides. A family from Westford is calling for new regulations after they say their daughter suffered a debilitating injury. Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka has their story. 11-year-old Ava Jenko, it started out as fun on the zipper ride like this one on YouTube. But midway through, something went wrong. I passed out on it. There's just like a little cage and then you had to hold on. And I remember waking up with my arms by my side and then I passed out again. Ava says when she got off the zipper, she couldn't walk. I sat down next to my mom saying that I can't feel my legs. As she was walking me out at the parking lot, she was dragging me. Ava's mom says doctors don't know why she passed out. As for why she couldn't walk for nearly six weeks, tests done at Boston's Children's Hospital revealed Ava suffered a mild traumatic brain injury. It's called functional neurologic disorder. The message from her brain wasn't getting to her nervous system, so she couldn't feel her legs. Ava's family says her brain got injured when she passed out. And without being able to hold on to the ride, Ava's head was snapping back and forth as the zipper was spinning around. Anything with a centrifugal force really should have a safety restraint system that keeps you connected to the seat. Massachusetts law does not require that rides have safety belts, but the zipper does have a lap bar and bars to hang on to. In Ava's case, that didn't help. I let go of the bars again, like I passed out. Amusement device owners are only required to report serious injuries to the state. It says in the past five years, traveling amusement carnivals reported a total of eight injuries. The carnival owner, Fiesta Shows, told the state it was not aware of Ava's incident, and the I-team has learned Fiesta was not required to report it because her brain injury does not meet the state's definition of serious injury. As for the ride itself, records show the zipper ride Ava was on passed a state inspection two days earlier. We've got a new car for the zipper. In 2016, the amusement industry unveiled a new zipper ride car with a heavy-duty safety harness that it says could also be retrofitted on older models. It has a more secure feeling. I think we need to start a discussion um, about enhancing public safety on carnival rides. Westford Representative James Arciero now wants to make safety restraint systems mandatory on all amusement rides. There was a comprehensive uh, overhaul Hall when there was a fatality in Shrewsbury, I believe it was 2004. Um, but I think now in 2019, it's time to take another look. Ava, who's now fully recovered, believes her injury could have been prevented. It was a very hard time for me. I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. Fiesta Shows did not respond to our request for comment, but we did hear from the New England Amusement Parks and Attractions Association. It told us the proposed legislation is unnecessary and owners are meeting today's safety standards. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.